In this lesson, I will show you how to add the sliders to your Google Look SEO report so we can see an additional way to use filters and controls to make your reports interactive. And for the sliders, I will do an exercise. I have this Google Look SEO report where I have already added a, a drop down to display the sources and to filter them and also a search bar. It is time for me to add uh, this slider. So I will create a new page. I will go in the top left page in the top left section of Google Look Studio and I will see an option that says page one of two. I will click there and an option to display a new page, a new blank page will show up and I will go to add, I will go to add a page and now I have a blank page. It is time to connect data. So I will go to resource, manage other data sources, you know this already. And here I will add a new data source. So in this new data source, I will type for instance, Facebook ads, I will choose other metrics, of course, I will connect my Facebook Ads account. Remember, this is something that we saw in our lesson on how to connect your data to Google Looker Studio. I will choose my Facebook Ad account, and now I have a table. You can use whatever connector. The idea is that you have a table with a metric so you can create a slider and you understand how it works. So here I have a table where I display my CTR broken down by date. I want to see the CTR that I have every day. So here, now to add the slider, I will go to add a control, and on add a control, I will go to a slider, and I will put it right here. It is not working, why? Because the values that I need to use for this are metrics, not dimensions, and this one, this hour, is, is a dimension. So instead of hour, I will use CTR. Now I can display the CTR. The next step is going to style because I want to change the range. I want to visualize. So I want to change the range from zero to 1%, for instance, and I will click on view. Now viewers can interact with this slider. For instance, I want to only see the dates whose CTR belong to a range that I defined. So here I will change the CTR. I only want to display from a 0.28 to 0.64%. And now I am filtering the data and now I am only visualizing the dates that respect this date range. And this is how you can use a sliders on your Google Look Studio reports to filter not your dimensions, but your metrics.